Hey guys, what's up? It's the Third Night here, and welcome to episode 2 of PVM Pro. Uh, I've received a lot of feedback with um, what equipment and stuff that I will be aiming for for this series, and I've finalized the list for you. Um, but on screen now is a list of bosses. Now this is a list of bosses that I aim to kill at least one or two of them. Uh, sorry, at least I, I aim to kill all of them at least once or twice. Um, on screen now is the armory and all the items I've unlocked so far, which is just one, which is that Sears ring imbued there. And also, I've finalized all the um, items on that. So basically, uh, yeah. So after receiving the feedback and also uh, factoring in the current stats of the equipment in the beta, um, I've removed some of the items accordingly, such as a Bando's chest plate, Bando's tacits, and dragon claws. Which um, the Bando's tacits and Bando's chest plate have the same stats as Torag's plate body and plate legs, uh, with the exception of one prayer point bonus. So as you can sort of tell, it's not really worth getting the Bando's chest plate or tacits at the moment. Um, but I will definitely add them to the list again if they get updated, which I am really hoping that they will, considering they are much harder to get than Barrow's armor. Um, also, I have gotten rid of the Dragonfly shield because there is really no point in getting that when I have a Chaotic Kite shield. The Chaotic Kite shield is better in the um, beta at the moment, and even in the live game, the Chaotic Kite shield has far more defensive bonuses. Um, although it doesn't have the strength bonuses, it's still very, very useful and I can use a Dragon Defender in the instances once I, where I want that strength bonus because the Dragon Defender also comes with more attack. Um, oh yeah, and I have gotten rid of the Augury Prayer as well as there will be a version of that similar to Turmoil but for magic based attacks already unlocked f uh, when the Evolution of Combat is launched so that will be pretty cool to test that out. Full list, a full list of the items um, I'm cutting from the list can be found in the description of the video. Uh, some something interesting uh, about the new item stat changes actually um, for the evolution of combat is the max cape now has better bonuses than the kiln cape which is really nice to hear that's well basically has better all round bonuses um, the kiln cape has 2.4% like attack bonus I'm, I'm not sure what the exact bonus is called but um, the max cape has 2.2% except it's also got 2.2% in range and 2.2% in magic which the kiln cape does not so all round the max cape um, is better by, from my opinion um, so that's something nice to hear considering it takes a very long time to get max cape con uh, compared to the kiln cape um, I had a fair few comments about the Sarah Doman am amulets like the whisper and everything and um, Glacor boots as well so just to be clear on that um, just to clear that up, sorry, I will be including them in Season 2 of this video series because those are the very best um, items that you can get and that's what I'll be doing in Season 2. I'll be going for the very best items um, in PVM. That'll be called uh, PVM Virtuoso where I'll be going for, you know, next sets and, you know, the Spirit Shields and everything. So I think those fit into that category. I've, at the moment, you know, Infinity Boots and Dragon Boots and stuff, those are fine and they're a lot cheaper as well. Now, on screen you may have just witnessed a Spectral Seagull drop. Uh, that was the first kill in a trip that I did with a friend, which was absolutely crazy. Pretty nice to get in there, just get a drop straight away. <laughs> um, but before I go on with that, uh, huge thanks to everyone for who's been leaving feedback on the series. It's really awesome to see all your comments and suggestions that you guys have. They are very, very good. And it's, yeah, it's really great to get a lot of feedback with all of that. Um, but yeah, basically it started off a bit slow this uh, this week for getting um, some consistent money in. Basically, I did some bot killing, I did some slayer tasks and stuff. All of that, you know, it, it added to like my overall cash and everything that I have for buying items. But it um it still did come in fairly slowly with the prices of um, various items, considering all the botting and stuff that's going on. Uh, but the the great thing about this week, well, probably saw some footage earlier. I got. Uh, Gloves of Subjugation from Zamorok, that was a split, and then I also got a Spectral Seagull, and you might have just seen a Holy Alexia drop uh, from Corporal Beast. Now, this it was really funny because the Spectral Seagull uh, split was the first kill that we did that entire trip, and then straight after that, the second kill was a Holy Alexia. So, yeah, you could say that we got a bit trolled with those drops, um, but it's still really nice to have that added to the um, cash stack, and that is definitely going to buy a lot of the items off the list. Um, this week so that's really nice at least um, yeah so I did actually get a whip and a few debos and stuff slaying but you know that sort of stuff is worth a lot less than it used to be but you know it, it all adds up um, but yeah the highlight of this week was definitely the few splits from Corporal Beast even if they were a bit of a troll um, I've only ever received uh, one other Seagull split from Corp and that was a Spectral as well 
Um, but it is, it's still a lot of fun to get that drop, especially first kill, and it definitely ticked off a number of items off the list. And yeah, um, even though, uh, th so those were basically the best uh, drops that um, we got the entire week, or that I got, sorry, the entire week. And even though like they weren't like the best uh, drops, they, they were actually the worst possible drops that I could have possibly gotten from any of those bosses besides maybe a um, God Sword Shard or something like that. Yeah, I think basically the God Sword Shard and a Spirit Shield. Besides that, I couldn't have gone, gone any worse with those drops. Um, you know, imagine if we got like a Divine or something, that would have been insane. I would have just bought all the items, second week done, video series complete. That would have been pretty funny. But um, anyway, that's, that's the way it works for me. Uh, but it was still really good to get those drops. I can't really complain about them, and it's really, really special to get a Seagull at Corporal Beast. I think the drop rate of, drop rate of Seagull, sorry, from uh, Corp is... I, sorry, I think I pronounced Sigils as well. I'm not even sure, but I pronounce them Seagulls all the time. I don't know why. Anyway, I think the drop rate for those is um, about 1 in 1,000. Uh, but yeah, I did, I did buy a bunch of items off the list for that. I got uh, full Ganodermic... Um, Basic, well, I'll just list all the items that I managed to um, buy this week. Uh, Infinity Boots, Full Ganodermic, and Amulet of Fury, Archer's Ring Imbued, and Full Arams. And I also got the rest of the Torag's armor set, so now I have full Torag, so I can also tick that off the list. Um, you'll be able to see those in the armory now, and you can also see uh, right now the footage, uh, sorry, the uh, boss monsters I killed this week. Um, so there is a lot of different boss monsters I want to kill. Yep, yeah, and um, that'll be lots of fun to mix it up. It'll be really interesting to see what I get from them. But yeah, as you can see on screen now, I managed to get a bunch of items this week, so it was uh, pretty pretty successful. Um, can't really complain about it at all, and I'm really looking forward to getting into some more bossing and taking a lot more of the items off the list. Um, but yeah, thanks very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Once again, if you have any feedback or questions or anything like that, or if you think I've missed something, please just feel free to leave them in the comments. Leave your Sorry, leave them in the comments below, and um, yeah, I'll get back to you on that as soon as possible, hopefully, and I'll have that ready for the next video. So until then, I'll see you next week. Really hope you enjoyed watching, and bye for now.